morning to all. My name is Christopher Dio Chavez, presenting to you the Development of Attendance Monitoring System Web Base from your message for Alpha Marine Service Incorporated. Okay. Okay, for a quick information about the company, Alpera Marine Service is a manning agency for seafarers use seafarers use them to to find employment at sea and shipping companies use them to source crew. Without further ado, let's proceed with the software project proposal. Okay. Alpera Marine Service incorporates use biometric for in order to secure or recognize personnel in entering their premises. Okay. Using the data from biometric, they manually track their employees' late absence and dips. With this, it is consuming, it is time consuming and prone to human error. Okay, that's why in, with this company, is the company's need of automated attendance monitoring system for easier for easier monitoring of their late absences and dips, creating the web-based system that is attuned with the biometric device, centralized database, and automated. With this time and effort, a human error will be reduced or minimal. Okay, according to Patel, attendance grown in the senior part of the organization. The company has existing biometric device, manually check the employee's records, data exported in Excel, implement an automated attendance system, handle the management of attendance system, Generate reports provide solution to improve the vision managing employee attendance. Okay. The objective of the study. The objective of the study. Design a system that will efficiently manage employee attendance record leaves time in time out. Shadow data for the employees for validating employees' record. Incorporate their system biometric device to the design system and provide data to generate and reports. The significance of the study. The significance of the study would justify the need to conduct the study. The following are the group of people who will benefit from this study. First, the employee. The study will help employees to be knowledgeable enough on entering the information technology field and they will be familiar with having a new way of registration, especially the HR personnel. In this proposed system, it will be help them to lessen their work. Okay, and the time con consumed in handling also in handling for an attendance process for their employees. It helps them to minimize the effort and time exert in terms of gathering the data or information of their employees. Further, researchers decide to serve as a handy also for our reference. Okay. Okay, this, the following of the scope of the proposed system, okay? Using the Excel generated from the biometric user will upload the file. The system will save it on the database. System will calculate the means of rate on every employee. System will automatically tag if an employee doesn't have a time in, time out, tag break in or break out. System will calculate the number of times the employee has incomplete data, either no time, in, time out, break in or break out. System can generate report for the attendance system or salary deduction for leaves and leave. Limitation. Here's the, the limitation of the proposed system. Filling of leave, leave, uh, leave, vacation, sick, emergency, etc. Biometric machine is not included. Calculation of salary deduction for leaves and leave. Next, I'll be discussing to you the general architecture of biometric system. First, the employee or the user should be enrolled first for a biometric sensor, then feature traction, then go to database. If there's authentication, you need uh, there's a present ID on the biometric using the biometric sensor, this authentication happens, then they'll check the uh, extraction of the matching and the result and check to the okay. Here's the technical background for biometric system the uh, system. 
A tendon's device can be accessed easily with fingers. More than one fingers can be taken for escaping the situation. Like not marking a tendon's due to any cut or damaged fingerprint. This makes the fingerprint attendance system more user-friendly and supportive. So from the biometric data, the attendance system diagram is shown in the presentation from the, from the biometric data. Attendance info will be saved in a centralized database in a server. The system can now manipulate the data in manage the attendance and generated reports of print the data or can be saved to Excel. Yeah. Here the Excel output um, generated from the biometric that is uh, given for me for our marine service for this month of September to October 2017. Okay, here's the technical background, the tools used. I use SAM, which is as Apache Web Server. Okay, stands, uh, SAM stands for Post Platform, Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. It's a simple, lightweight Apache distribution that makes it extremely easy easy for developers to create a local web server for testing and development. Okay. MySQL is an open source uh, relational database management system. Bootstrap is, is a free and open source front-end web framework for designing website and web application. It contains HTML and Castella style sheet, web design templates for typography forms, buttons, and etc. The PHP is a server-side scripting language designed probably for web development and also used for the uh, programming language. The XML is also used for the hypertext environment. I use the Visual Studio Code tools to code and to debug also to check. Here's the conceptual design. Okay. The conceptual design it is to identify the analysis, resources, and procedures in designing the project. The study is guided with the input output, input process output, IPO model as shown in the presentation to design and develop an attendance system that enables the users to enter data, process data, produce information and store them in a database with user-friendly interface between the users and the system. Data entry will be employee attendance into like time in or time out from the information to process to extract and to register the fingerprint capture the attendance info and compute the employee tardiness. Beyond the XL also and enter time. The output reports will be the daily time record, list of actions and present employees, list of incomplete attendance info. Okay. Here is the Desha dictionary for the for the system. This describes the set of tables will be typing will be using sorry using the system column names fields format are shown in the presentation basically the employee id will be used as the primary or unique identification of the attendance data other employee details the name departments are also shown in the data dictionary will be used using different tables like attendance table employee table and uh, user type and department type table okay Moving to the next slide is the entity relationship diagram. From the data dictionary presented previously, we can check the relationship of the created tables or fields. We have the employee table with as one to many relationship with both the attendance table and department table. ID or employee ID will be used to the primary key. Those key will be used as the foreign key to both department and attendance table. Here's the data flow diagram. Okay, the next slide presented is the data flow diagram from the biometric device. We will get the data from the device, okay, and store it in that employee attendance here. Take the database. The HR admin then checks the employee attendance, okay. Then it's, and the system will check the incomplete data, okay, and store the data in the database from from those data HR admin can generate report from attendance info here okay here's the the website that that uh, my good professor told me to upload HTTP HRI so that was an Azure website that net page again and the username address and password use the default user login that you will see in the online website 
okay when you already successfully connect a uh, what do you call this uh login you will see the SRI system home attendance employee reports settings and log out Uh, from attendance, you will see import from Excel came from the biometrics of the Excel. You can process the attendance. The employee you can uh, click the new employee and the search employee. And the settings, the department list, and the user account. Okay. In the department list, you can add new department list. This is the sample. There's also a department code, a description, or remarks in the timestamp. You can edit and delete also. If you add new department, you can see the code of the department, the description, and the remarks, and you can save or close. Okay. In the user account, you can add the user. So the one I uh, create is Chris and the password. Then you have also the timestamp. You can edit and delete. You can add by using the click add new user. The username, the password, the confirm password, remarks, and the save button. And this is the last in the log out. Thank you very much uh, for for this. Thank you.